What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Sky here and today I'm gonna show you how to give yourself uh, money, items and different stuff in a game. Um, today's tutorial is in single player games where you can directly modify the memory of the game in order to give yourself an advantage. So before starting, please leave a like and subscribe, it will help me a lot and make sure you join the Discord server down below. Today we are going to use Cheat Engine to build the stuff that we want. It's an easy program to use and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So, this works in any single player game, usually, most of the time. You might need to be a little bit creative about it, but it usually works. So I'm going to take a random game for now and I'm going to show you on it. So I have House Flipper 2 here, the game is not important, I could have used anything else. And we are going to give ourselves money. So how we are going to do that, you might ask. First thing first, you go to Cheat Engine here and you click here in the top left corner to open a process. So you're going to see a process list and we're going to attach Cheat Engine to a process. In our case, we will attach it to the game, which is House Flipper 2. Anyways, after we attached it, we need to search for the balance here. So in a game, this balance or the number of items you have and so on will be stored in a variable. Now, because it's a number, this could be one of three variables. It could be an int, a float or a double. So, in order to find it, because we don't actually know um, what type of variable it is, we're gonna just search it by value here. So, currently it's 247,121. So we're going to type that 247,121. Here, when you see scan type, you're going to uh, leave it to exact value. And value type, we're going to select all. It's going to take a bit longer, but it's going to be the same result in the end. So that we're, that we're done that, we're going to click first scan here. Now, depending on how specific the wallet address is, you might find some results one or more now you if you can see we only found one address so we are sure 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 this is the wallet address but what um are we gonna do if there are more i'm gonna show you so let's say we did this scan and there are like a thousand addresses you can't change all of them obviously so what we're gonna do is we will need to change the number here and look for changes in the values here. So what we're gonna do, by example, in this game, we need to change the value somehow. So how can we do that? Well, let's buy something. So I'm gonna go here, let's buy anything really, a pineapple, right? And when I buy it, you see, my wallet money is going down here, but it's also going down here. So now my money is no longer 247,121, it's 247,117. So we're going to write the new value 247,117. And we're going to click next scan. So basically we are searching again for a value that was initially 247,122 and now it's changed to this. And we're going to click new next scan. As you can see, it's still going to show this because this is the address of the wallet. But in your case, it will narrow down the addresses. So you're going to have to keep doing that until you are left with one, two, three, four addresses, something small, and then you can change them. When you are sure that you have the address corresponding to the wallet or whatever you want to change in your game, items, numbers, or whatever, you can go to it, right click and change value of selected addresses. Now you're going to give a new value. Let's say I want to have 6,069 money. I'm going to click OK. And you see, it's not going to change in game right away because it's still cashed to that amount. But as soon as I make a change to it again, I mean, place like a, let's place this pineapple. As you can see, I have 6,967 money because I changed it in the options. Now, if you would want to do this for an item, by example, I can't really show you in this game, but let's say you have, I don't know, five items, five um, pineapples in your inventory. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for flight and you're gonna click new scan after you've done that you're gonna go in your inventory and drop an item and you're gonna have four so you're gonna click four and then next scan then you're gonna drop it again you're gonna have three you're gonna type here three and go next scan then you can pick up one of the items again and go to four again and next scan you will repeat doing this until you find the exact value in the memory the variable holding the number of items you have this works in many ways and you can use your creativity you can do all kinds of stuff with it it's not gonna work always because sometimes the game checks for things like this and you're gonna need to get creative for example if you cannot directly modify your money in a game you sure can do something to get some money. Maybe modify your XP level or maybe modify an item's cost and then sell it. Who knows? But this was a simple tutorial just to show you how you can find addresses and change them with Cheat Engine. And obviously, you can double click it here if you want. You're going to pin it here and you can change it whenever you want. So. I can have as much money as I like. Now, depending on what the variable type is, you cannot exceed some values. But, um, well, as you can see, I have 999,999,000 money. So, this is how you can exploit single player games using Cheat Engine. This is the easy way, the most easiest way you can find. But, um, if you are creative with it, you can do all kinds of stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, don't join my Discord server or write them in the comments. And if you want to see more advanced stuff in the future, please let me know. I'm more than happy to make some new tutorials for you guys. So, thank you so much. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.